and I do have serious concerns with the uh, numerous factually incorrect statements you've made about the RFS. I worry about your lack of understanding about the purpose of the law, which is to provide market access for renewable fuels and to promote agriculture and to promote rural America. As I've stated multiple times, I support in all of the above energy policy, but I worry about your extremist views and your role as an advisor to the president. We are all aware of your statements and position on the RFS. However, it is the law of the land. Should you be confirmed, you will, or I would ask you, will you echo President Trump's support for the statute and uphold the congressional intent of the RFS? Yes, I would. That's what I understand as upholding the rule of law. Do you think it is important to provide the president with actu accurate, factual information when you provide him with options uh, on issues if you are confirmed? Absolutely, and that, the, that advice needs to be based on the most solid, informed, robust science and data. In our conversation in my office and in your answers to Senator Rounds, you did state that you used flawed data uh, as recently as 2014, as recently as 2016 with regards to the RFS. In making statements um, such as ethanol policies of the United States have led to food riots in several countries over the last few years. That was in 2014. I would ask you uh, if you can guarantee in any way to us that you will check uh, data, that you will check facts, that you will, in, in your capacity, if you are confirmed in this position, to always, always check and make sure you're providing that accurate information to the President of the United States when you give him options. Um, What, uh, the specific question, please. Uh, oh, will you use facts? Oh, when you're presenting, of course, articles. I find um, and current and the, data and the the 2014 um, statements you're talking about was was a part of the of the book. Will you use current data? Yes, and I facts? will unquestionably. Thank you. Um, I would remind people that we're talking about more than corn here. Of course, uh, when we talk about the RFS and and renewable fuels, we're looking at second generation biodiesel. We're looking at our soybean growers as well. This is a huge issue for rural America, and we need to take it seriously. As a follow up, uh, Ms. White, there have been press reports about some interest in altering altering the RFS before 2022. I would ask, would you commit to me today that should you be confirmed, you would not support opening up the RFS before 2022? I would support the President's position in, in that. So you will not commit that to me at this point? I, I can't really prejudge that, and, okay. I might, and I might also add it. It's not because at another time I would feel comfortable making a clear okay, position. Okay, fair enough. Thank you.